Welcome to Friendly Math 101. Today's lesson is over central angles. So a central angle is an angle from the center of the circle. So this dot here, it's supposed to be the center. I know it's not exact, but I tried. So a central angle is going to be this. So this is some kind of angle measure. Let's call it x degrees. Well, what we know about that central angle measure is that it's the same measure as the intercepted arc, which means this angle here forms this arc right here. And these are the same angle measures. So this is x degrees as well. So the intercepted arc equals the uh, central angle. Some things we want to remember as we go through this is that an entire circle is equal to 360 degrees. That means the outside of the circle is 360 and the inside angles is equal to 360. Half the circle is equal to 180 degrees. So we just want to keep that in mind as we are going through the example problems on this. So here's our first example. It says find x, okay? So x is right here. 3x plus 1 is the measure of this arc length there. So what our notes told us is that this measure, whatever this is, we'll just call it m, is equal to 3x plus 1. So if we knew what this measure was, then we could try to find x. The problem is we don't know what it is. But we do know that this angle measure is 145 degrees. We also know, and this is where everything we've learned before comes into play, we also know that these are vertical angles. Remember, vertical angles are equal to each other. So, M is actually 145 degrees as well. Again, because we know those are vertical angles, and that's the definition of vertical angles. So, 145 is this measure, which means 145 is equal to 3x plus 1, because this entire thing is also 145. Now we can solve for x. So our first one is subtract 1 from both sides. And I get 144 equals 3x. Once I get there, I want to get x by itself. So I divide both sides by 3. By the way, these 1's zeroed out, which is why they disappeared. These 3's are going to 1 out which is why they're going to disappear. And so I get x equals 144 divided by 3 is 48. Okay, so that's that example. Now let's move on to a little bit harder one. This one tells us to find m. Now there's kind of a lot going on here. We have a bunch of different sections of our circle, and this is angle measure M here. This is what I'm trying to find. Now, I really don't know anything about this half of the circle, but I do know things about this half of the circle. I know that the arc here is 45, which means this angle measure is 45 degrees. This angle measure is 73, and this angle measure here makes up half of this circle. So this is what I was talking about earlier. Half of the circle is 180 degrees. So I can figure this out because I have 180 degrees is going to equal this missing piece, which I called question mark, plus 73 degrees plus 45 degrees. So I can figure out the question mark, which is going to help me find the measure of angle M. 
So I first want to combine like terms there. I have 73 plus 45. I get question mark. That turns to 118. Subtract 118 from both sides because I am trying to find my question mark there. So these are going to zero out. 180 minus 118 is 62. So now I know this is 62 degrees. Now that I know that's 62 degrees, I can figure out M. And this goes back to the example problem we just did. I know M because these are vertical angles. Vertical angles are equal, and so M equals 62 degrees. So we had to know something very important to finish that problem, which is what we just learned. Since this arc length is 45 degrees, I know that this angle measure is 45 degrees. That's how we started this problem and came to our final answer for M. You could have also looked at it as this right here is half of the circle. And you would have ended up getting the same answer because we would do the same problem and we still get 62 degrees. So it really doesn't matter. There's a couple different ways to approach it as long as you get the correct answer. Thank you for watching. And for more math tutorials, please subscribe to our channel, Friendly Math 101.